If you want to improve your academic writing, you need to learn from the experts. Hi, this is Dr. Gia, and today I will share six books that I use to build my skills. First thing is, I want you to notice something. I said books that I use, not books that I read. Why is this distinction important? It is because reading passively will not really get you anywhere. You actually need to write. The best way is to write and apply the lessons along the way. The second thing is there is no perfect book, but one that serves a specific need. So depending on your baseline skill, you may need different books to help you build your skill. Now, the first book I'm going to introduce is Writing Your Journal Article in 12 Weeks by Wendy Laura Belcher. So as you can see, it's a pretty thick book here. And what it is, is it is a comprehensive book and it's designed to walk you through the whole writing process from the beginning to the end. It's almost like a syllabus in a writing course. So if you follow the syllabus, you can complete a fairly good draft by the end of 12 weeks and improve your craft of writing. So what do I love about it? The in-depth explanation and the structure. So if you are somebody who has never written a paper before, this is a truly step-by-step -step guidebook. And she has many great insights that help me reframe how I take, think about research papers. One of the best quotes I learned from the book was, in order for a research article to be publishable, your paper must say something new about something old. So if your research is interesting but not new, it won't be published. If your idea is new, but not related to all of previous research, it won't be published. So that was life changing for me. Now, the second book, Becoming an Academic Writer, 50 Exercises of Pace, Productive and Powerful Writing by Patricia Goodson. So you may have heard that to improve your skill, you need to do deliberate practice. But in terms of writing, how do you even practice writing skills? So she lays down 50 writing exercises to improve your craft. There are exercises on creating a writing habit, on building your vocabulary to developing a discussion point. And what do I love about this book is that it has quick lessons and a writing exercise to it. And so this is the book that I've used the most to improve my skill. It's because Practice is the most important thing when you want to build your skill. Now the next book, Story Not Study by Lorelai Lingard and Christopher Watling. Now the other books were mostly on specific strategies on how to improve the technical parts of writing. This book actually has a central message. That is, instead of talking about writing up a study, they focus on telling a story. And so part one focuses on building the conceptual story in your introduction, your discussion, and even the result section. Then in the second part, they go into the nuts and bolts of improving your craft. And finally, the third part is about building a community in research and in science. One section I love is the see one, do one, teach one section, where she wants you to identify some of your dysfunctional writing pattern and then a strategy to fix the pattern and then to teach others. That way you reinforce your learning. I know conducting a research project is an overwhelming process. So I made the idea to paper blueprint for you. This blueprint takes you through a seven step process from the idea generation phase to the paper submission phase. So be sure to get a copy by clicking the link in the description below. The fourth book is Essentials of Writing Biomedical Research Papers by Mimi Zeiger or Mimi Zeiger. So this is also another like textbook like but how it's different is this book is about building your craft from the ground up it starts from the building block of writing think about the word choice the sentence structure and the paragraph st structure and then the next section is about bringing the whole paper together and what i really love about this book is the structure of the exercises so she gives you plenty of bad examples and your exercise is to fix them as per that particular lesson and don't worry there are suggested answers at the end of the book now the previous few books were core books to improve your writing craft they are big thick and more in-depth so for some of you it may be very overwhelming so i will recommend two smaller books to help you get started so the next one is how to write a lot by paul j sylvia so as you can see this is a much thinner book and it's a light read but you will st still get many key insights without getting into the weeds of things. And the focus of the book is more about strategies to, as what the title suggests, to write a lot. It is practical and touches on many of the barriers of get getting writing done. And he does touch a little bit on writing well at the second part of the book and also a small section for uh, grant writing. 
What I, what I love about this book is it's thin and a light read, yet it still packs in gems of the gems. Now, the sixth book, Writing Tools, 50 Essential Strategies for Every Writer by Roy Peter Clark. So this is not an academic writing book per se, but a book for all writers. He is an excellent writing teacher and he aims to build a nation of writers. And he treats these 55 strategies as more like tools you put in your writing tool belt. Each tool has a nifty memorable name and so you can remember it well. And the examples, he puts plenty of examples that are typically funny or very touching as well. And because I love this book so much, I have it both in audio form and in paperback. So the audio version is narrated by the author himself and his humor really jumps out in, in the audio version. So how do you use it? Use this book more to improve your writing style. You can jump in and out anytime you want. Read one tool, stop reading, try it out on your writing. As I've listened to this book three or four times, I sometimes even hear his voice and as I'm using a particular tool. There you go, six books I use to improve my writing craft. Remember, doing research work without writing is actually wasted work. When you're expected to produce a research paper or some sort, some form of scholarly work, you are technically paid to write. So embrace writing as part of your job and profession and keep working on improving your craft. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.